What's up, everybody? This is Techno Blast from Technos Gaming. It's an exciting time for the Xbox platform because today AMD announced that AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution 2.0 is now available or supported on the Xbox and will be available in the Xbox GTK uh, for devs to use in their games. What is it? Well, it upscales games and boosts frame rates. And it's interesting to see which Xbox Series S games uses this because we know the Series X will be pretty much able to handle anything that's thrown at it. So far, it's performed like it's supposed to. It's been knocking out games like crazy. And now we gotta know what can the Series S do with this new technology? So if you don't know what AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution 2.0 is, let me just give you a little breakdown, a little article that I read on pocketlint.com. In theory, AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution is a technology that's designed to give gamers the best of both worlds. When activated, you'll no longer need to choose between high frame rates and high resolution graphics. Fidelity FX Super Resolution, aka FSR, is essentially designed to upscale graphics while you play, allowing you to output graphics with a higher frame rate, but also at 4K as well. So while so while the game engine is rendering at 1080p, for example, the final output is 1440p or 4K. AMD's tech uses an advanced edge, uh, advanced edge reconstruction algorithm to upscale each frame that's being sent. In a similar way, NVIDIA's DLSS, AMD's Fidel FSR has four different modes, ultra quality, quality, balance, and performance. At one end of the spectrum, you have ultra quality, which focuses on the best graphics while performance gives you the highest frame rate. The idea of ultra quality mode will give you higher frame rates than you get trying to run games natively at a higher resolution. Fidelity FX Super Resolution apparently makes two passes to improve the visual quality of the end graphics. The first is an edge reconstruction upscaling algorithm that overhauls the graphics and second, which sharpens the final image up and adds more clarity. Interestingly, the initial resolution changes depending on the mode you selected. As an example, where the final output is 4K, the ultra quality mode will be initially rendered at 2954 by 1662 before upscaling, while the quality mode will use 2560 by 1440 and balance mode will use 220, 2259 by 1270 while performance uses 1080p. Now, if you've been following me on Twitter at Technoblast, You'll notice that uh, I posted a little uh, a little post right now saying that AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution 2.0 is supported by Xbox right now as it stands. And because AMD and Xbox have worked really close to each other and it's using all the AMD technology to make this happen. Xbox is exclusively the one, the only platform that's using FSR 2.0. So to all the PlayStation of fans out there i apologize which i really don't apologize so it's like more that sorry no sorry thing you're not gonna get uh fsr 2.0 it's just the way it is uh sony decided to go in a different route and try to make amd's uh you know hard uh, technology into some frankenstein technology that they want to use for their platform and so far it hasn't been working out as great as they thought it would so when we'll see this take effect for current games or any future games Right now, I don't have that information, so hopefully it'll be soon by the end of the year uh, because there's a lot of games coming out. There's a lot of games coming out by the end of the year, and you know we want to use the Series X at its full potential. We want to use the, the, the Xbox at its full potential and because AMD and Xbox are working very closely with each other. Each other it's going to happen. It's going to happen, and I'm looking forward to it. All right, guys, you guys excited? Man, put your comment down at the bottom. Uh, remember to hit that subscribe button, like, and I'll talk to you guys later.